psychic. They predict the future, two, three, four months. They predict the problems and they solve them before they ever occur. They go back to their management. This is the issue, this is the problem. These may be the three alternatives that we could do to fix the problem. These are the pros and the cons. And they either pick one or their manager or their sponsor or customer picks one. That's what you want to be, the psychic plus. Solve the problems before they occur. Work expands to fill the bucket. You're going to find tasks that either take the exact amount of time that was allocated or more. So the more time you spend doing the work is less time you spend enabling others. So the metric also forces people to concentrate where they should not be concentrating. If you're a director or a partner, what do we want you doing? Overseeing the portfolio, and then what? Strategic vision. Getting the next job so your pipeline doesn't go dry. But if you're measured on utilization, I'm going to work on the current work. So what happens to the pipeline? Utilization as the sole metric is just like paying the carpenter per nail. You might directly contract, you might hire a full-timer depending upon how long your project is. You're doing everything you can to drop your costs. Well, doesn't that kill the whole point of this center of excellence? On your projects, people will have hidden agendas. They'll be rewarded based upon things that are in conflict with your project goals or plans. And if you're not aware of it, you can't fix the problem. So all this talk about what, what not to do, what should we be doing? What's the challenge with metrics? The challenge is what you want to measure is fuzzy. It's hard to measure. Folks, metrics will drive your behavior. Peel the onion. Look beyond, beyond just what's on the surface. See what's driving your team. Management, pay attention how you're setting metrics up. And I realize a lot of the people here may not have control over those metrics, but you must be aware of those metrics and how they're driving behavior on your teams. Thank you.